So I got to Stevens Pass, went to Leavenworth, did some stuff. Then I went back to Stevens Pass, met up with Star Lord and Sunshine. We decided to go to Sky Comish and stay the night where I made friends with the locals. Cheers! Happy birthday! Celebrated my birthday with Jack Rabbit and Bob, and he gave me that for my birthday. Leaving Sky. I gotta get a milkshake because it's my birthday, and then I'm out of here. I wanted to hike 41 for my birthday, but it didn't work out that way. I finally left Skykomish today. <laughs> I was really only there for a day and a half. Well, that's not true, because I did go into Stevens Pass, hitched to the doctor to see what was happening with my lip. I was afraid that I'd gotten bitten by a spider, or I don't know, what was like infected, but uh, she says I probably just bit it. Now I have like a cyst that's formed in there. And I don't know, it would have been cooler if she had lanced it, but whatevs. I'm gonna go see a doctor when I get off trail and whatever. Then I decided, since it's my birthday today, to just stay in town, enjoy a night, shower, laundry, eat stuff. It was pretty great. And I got to hang out with a bunch of other hikers. And it's also Jack Rabbit's birthday. And here I go. Not that much farther. On my way. Um, this is Lake Valhalla. I probably should. I think so. Looks like a line. Maybe they're doing like a... Do you think they're... Man, that looks awful close, <laughs> doesn't it? Yeah. It's on the other side of that. Hey, that's cool. But there's no like helicopters. That's true. Flying around. That's a good point. Yeah. I love coming around a corner to a cool view. Ooh, look at the clouds spilling down over. It's so cool. Oh, it's like that over there too. Incredible. Ooh, I'm going into it. Spooky, oh gosh. That's not what I thought was about to happen. <laughs> it's kind of cold over here, too. It is so spooky out here right now. Like, not exactly in my favorite way. Good morning. It's about 5.30. I only went about 22 miles yesterday. I didn't leave till 1.30. Um, but there's a lot of ups and downs yesterday. Washington's more challenging, you know? But uh, I got up early. Not really. I got up at my normal time. <laughs> And I did pack up pretty fast. So I'm on trail by 5.30. I'm just gonna try to do as many miles as I possibly can. So I do wanna go into Stahican <laughs> just to go to the deli <laughs> or bakery, whatever it is. And I just wanna see this little town. I think it's gonna be so cute. So, that's probably still like 84, 85 miles away. So, we'll see. We'll see what I can do. I was pretty glad I didn't do this hike the day before when I was really tired at night because 
The sides of the trail along this section are really deeply eroded on the downside, and sometimes there are just like big divots in the trail, which could be pretty dangerous, you know, if I was tired and I wasn't really stepping as carefully. So, yeah, I mean, early morning hike, I was pretty alert for the most part, and uh, I was able to be more careful. What a cool effect. I don't think it really translates as well on the camera but so it's like super foggy spooky out here <laughs> but it must be like a thinner area in the cloud oh, or I'm just in a real thick part right now god this is spooky but anyway see the sun all just like lighting up that area down there and oh it's getting too thick right now but there was <laughs> I could see this really cool just a little silver ribbon going across that valley down there this must be a river reflecting up he just like came running out of the bushes Marmot are you okay? uh I don't believe in feeding the wildlife. What's happening? Are you trying to hold me up, bud? I'm really not going to give you any snacks. God, you're humongous. <laughs> How are you doing? Is everything okay? Are you sick? Seriously? Are you sick? I have to walk this way. I know. I'm sorry. Oh, look, there's your little friend. Go see your buddy. I'm just going to walk by. Oh, you guys are so freaking cute. Good morning, marmots. Mm -hmm. Just past the wilderness boundary. I'm going to hit 2,500 miles here so soon. I like all these sharp edges out here. Swirly clouds. Good contrast. Mm hmm. Gotta love the trail lined with wildflowers. <laughs> 2,500 mark. Whoa. Mm-hmm. We're in marmot country, boys. <laughs> yeah, I see you. I met your cousin this morning. Lovely, lovely. Expansive, rugged, beautiful, not super easy. <laughs> Hello. So I keep walking through these little bunches of those really pretty iridescent blue butterflies. And it is really, you know, it's a pretty moment. But it also just keeps making me think about the last time I had a full-on photo shoot with the, one of the blue butterflies. And later realized that I had also had a photo shoot with a turd because that blue butterfly was just sitting on a piece of poop on the trail. <laughs> I hadn't first recognized it, you know. Oh, hello. Okay, they are still cool though. Even if they do like poop. 
Butterflies. It's gonna be butterfly chaos. <laughs> Hello. Oh, goodness. <laughs> oh. You guys are chill, huh? Sorry, Ma, it was safe and kind of fun. Hmm. That's fresh bear poop. Wow. Remember to look up. I made my way across on that log. Then I got to the end where that boulder was. I climbed up on that thing and then hopped over to the other side. Through hikers are like cats. We never want to get our feet wet. So at this point, it's like 4.30 in the afternoon. I am about 30 miles in for the day. Um, <laughs> I do know that once I get up to Fire Creek Pass, there's a really steep down to Milk Creek, and then there's another really steep back up on switchbacks the other side, and there's not really going to be a lot of places to camp. So this is going to be a bit of a challenging day, but it is my birthday present to myself, so I'm getting after it. I just checked my map <laughs> so I did want to know what I was looking at so I guess that's Kennedy Peak up there and that's the Sitcom Glacier I don't know if I'm saying that right it was S-I-T-K-U-M oh. blow downs I just climbed over all that skin my knee a little bit oh. Oh. Lord, I've been on a bushwhack. <laughs> I'm almost back to trail. It's all these blowdowns. Ow. Downs have been mostly like this. Stuff you just gotta climb over. <laughs> oh. Slippery. <laughs> I'm trying to be more careful. Nobody wants to get hurt, especially now when there's like so little left of trail. Oh, hello. Armits here are brazen. Hello. <laughs> you sure are cute. You know, don't you? Look at your nice little house. Lovely. Enjoy your day, bud. Rugged marmot. <laughs> Hello. Don't be scared. Ooh, I made it up. Fire Creek Pass. Well, almost. <laughs> but. 
Now I gotta go steeply down and then I go steeply back up. We're gonna see. I'll be, if I go back up the other side, I'll get my 41, which I wanted to do for my birthday. It is a lot though. But I mean, I could probably do it by 9.30. 6.30 now, 7.30, 9.30. I mean, maybe. Probably be closer to 10. Just keeps getting better. Do, do, do. <laughs> wow. Incredible. Burr. Oh, a little flashback time. Oh, this doesn't look great. Oh, God. Oh, wait, oh, wait. There we go. Low under. <laughs> okay, so there's Fire Creek Pass where it just came down, right? You think right over there? Oh, stunning. Beautiful, beautiful. Look at that melting snow. Amazing. And now we look over here. <laughs> look at the freaking switchbacks. <laughs> Lord. I'm going down and then back up. I'll be at like 38 or 39, like right at the bottom. But I want to get 41. I think I have to go all the way up. I'm just going to see how I feel when I get to the bottom and see what time it is. Not force myself to do something crazy. It's just silly. But maybe I will. Thirty-six point seven miles right now, so I'm super close to being at forty. Oh no, I'm doing forty-one. Well, actually, that doesn't even matter because I only have another mile down to the river, so I have to go up anyway if I wanted to get a forty. And I think that puts me at forty-two. So anyway. Um, I don't have that much longer. Maybe one more hour. And I have ramen, cold soaking, in a Ziploc bag. But I have it actually in my sports bra. <laughs> so I'm like hot soaking it with my own body. I hope it doesn't like be terrible. Oh, but it probably already smells like rum. Hmm. Um, it is hot down in this valley. And there's a lot of trees to come over. Yeah, like this. Yeah, that's what the uh, map on Gut Hook looks like while well, far out to show the switchbacks climbing out of this beast. Well, I did it. Now to see if I can find a campsite. Woo, that was fun. Finished up with a 42 mile day. <laughs>